Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? The Zip of Rage Quit TV. Gonna be bringing you Liquid TLO versus White Raw. Liquid TLO is spawning as the Red Zerg. White Raw spawning as the Blue Protoss. It is a ZVP on GSL Calm. And this is like my third time casting this map. I don't know it all too well. I just know these players do like it. They said that in the previous game I cast it on it. This is put of a B05, I believe it was, where they played all five games on this map. I believe this is either game one or two on it, so they're still figuring out the map. White Raw is going to be going for a Forge Fast Expand or Nexus first, either or, maybe not. Maybe he's going to build a Gateway first. His probe is standing right here. It looks like he will be going with a Gate Opener. He could still go for a Forge Fast Expand, but it's very unlikely because GSL Calm, you have the one entrance into three bases right here. So if this walls off with like a forge and a cannon, I don't know why you do that when you can just use a gateway. So he's going to go gateway expand. There's no question about it. He may go nexus first because you have the base back here tucked away. The only way to get in is either through the air or going down here through what the third base is, a.k.a. the natural. So, I mean, once you wall this area off, have this secure, all three of these bases are very safe. It's much like, oh, crap, there's another map like this. Uh, I don't know exactly, but the key thing is there are eight mineral patches at all three bases and two Vespane geysers. That is something that is unique to this map. Generally, for the third base being so close, they take away two mineral patches and one of the gases. This is a Muta Heaven map for Zergs, and White Raw does probably know that. TLO going to be going for a hatch first. No surprise there, but a probe is going to be coming. The gateway. Oh, no, the forge. So I am wrong. White Raw, even though I didn't think he'd be doing a forge fast expand this way, he is going to be doing it. And this will allow him to uh, put pressure on this one hatch down here. And will TLO be able to stop this one probe? White Raw definitely known for cannon rushing Zergs who go hatch first. But White Raw may just counter this with going for like a double nexus because again, it is GSL Calm. He does see two hatcheries. Maybe he's going to cancel one of them. He can't let this slide. He cannot let a Zerg go double hatch before the pool when he opens up with a forge. So he will be throwing down a pylon at this base. It is a given probe. What you doing? Cannon rush a base, dude. Just do it. Prove me right. You already, I was already wrong once. There we go. The pylon going down. That could always be a fake pylon trying to get TLO to overreact. I believe drones are about 40 minerals per minute. I meant to double check that game fact because that's something I would like to know. So uh, TLO going to be losing some minerals to deal with this. We'll see exactly how long it takes for probe to kill a pylon. They went around 350. They got pulled off. And we'll see exactly how many minerals he ends up losing. It looks like it's going to be about 60 for taking out 100. And uh, the drone not really attacking doesn't have uh, the ser service area because these drones are being bullies right now. Two more cannons are going down and three cannons going down. White Raw really does not want this base to live. None of those are pylons. All three of those are cannons. There goes another pylon. And it looks like this hatch is going to have to be taken out. There's no way I see TLO easily holding this off. All the drones again. This is going to be losing a lot of money. I know I said try to calculate this, but the drones... All have been pulled off. This is just so much. He has a lot of area on that one pylon, but the cannon's now finishing. Gonna start taking out drones while another pylon is building. This cannon may even just get canceled. He does not need it. And White Rod does not cancel. He's gonna leave that one cannon there. This base is up. Going to the work count is 21 drones, 226 probes, but we do have a lot of lings out already. The Nexus was built down here, so White Rod with a very questionable wall off strategy. Going for the forge up here. The pylon down here, the cannon down here. I don't understand that one bit. A lot of lings are going to be coming across the map, trying to put pressure on. And uh, right now, uh, maybe TLO isn't ahead just because of the worker count. Yeah, he's definitely not ahead. Even though White Dog spent so much minerals down here, canceling that one hatch, TLO did lose the hatch and a lot of mining time. So these lings have to do damage. And uh, White Rod trying to wall that off, but he just can't. And the lane's going to be attacking the cannon. I think they should just run by, but he does have a lot of lanes. He is going to try to take out probes. Now going to go back to the cannon. And uh, this cannon may fall, but is it worth it? He has lost nine lanes, ten lanes, ten lanes to that cannon. And ten lanes is quite a bit of minerals. 
I think that cannon definitely just paid for itself right there. The Overlord now deciding to get out of the base. I don't think any probes did go down there. No, the scouting probe did die. And uh, TLO, a little bit of a questionable decision making there. Going for that cannon. This one drone will hatch the cannon, wasting all its energy. Of course, it doesn't have energy. And that was kind of interesting. Once the egg hatched, the drone was out of range, even though... It didn't move immediately out of that hatch. The cannon can be poked in this overload, but the overload will be able to get away. That would be so embarrassing to lose an overload to a cannon. TLO with a lot of lings. I think he may be going in for an all-in. He is not getting speed, going for his lair, so I think we're going to be seeing the TLO Nidus. That one probe, mineral walking through those lings. He has to kill this probe. The probe cannot scout the Nidus. If it does, this little all-in tactic for TLO will fail. You can see he has definitely still cut drones. 32 drones to 43 probes. He's building four of those, so he hasn't cut it completely. He is just way behind in terms of that econ. But he is Zerg, so he can just build a lot of drones at once. We'll see if he does that. He did just decide to mine gas with those drones. Is now getting speed. And that speed, again, very late. White Raw does notice how late the speed is. Well, maybe not yet. Speed generally, in this case, would be done around 8.30 which is the time TLO is starting it. So the Zealots see the Lings without speed in like 15, 20 seconds around the nine minute mark. He may know something is up and I think this may be the sign that, hey, something is up, dude. There's a lot of Lings, there's no speed. It's about nine minutes into the game. So what is White Rod doing? Looks like he is getting a lot of gateways. Trying to take out this one Overseer. The Overseer finishes morphing. The Overlord goes to full life and it will be getting away easy peasy. And those two overlords definitely in trouble of being taken out. But, uh, actually there's a lot of overlords just moving across the map for TLO. And this is definitely key signs of his Nidus play as a Nidus network is being produced. A bunch of others are going to be going into this main. They do see the Nidus network. And now White Rod does know exactly what is coming. But nine roaches are on the way. White Rod's army consists of one stalker, five zealots. However, five gateways now just finishing. And that Wolf Gate research just about done. Nidus is done, and TLO is going to be building that. Will he be able to get it off? His work account, 46 drones to the 55 probes. White Raw, looking like he has definitely got a big economic lead. Does know about the Nidus, so TLO just me throwing down the Nidus at the front door, just using this as a mobility thing to get those slow roaches across the map. And may even go for Hydras. There's roach speed just about done. TLO has to do damage here. There's no question about it. If he doesn't do damage, the game just ends. This is an all-in, unless, again, he does damage. I can't stress that enough. And also, you got to keep in mind, White Raw still has all these cannons and pylons here. So if he deals with this, he can get back to TLO's base just as fast as TLO can hop back into Nidus and get back because he can wolf units in. And that may be key very shortly. And it uh, looks like TLO just wants to get Hydras with this army. He did not put a queen in this. Using that one queen for all the injects, he needs to start spreading creep if he's going to be using Hydras with this. And there we go. A queen does come in, puts down a tumor, and now uh, evacuates. One Roach going to be coming in, sees those stalkers, and uh, TLO has got to be thinking, is this a good idea or not? And he's going back in the nice. I'm looking for another worm. I just don't see it. And now the Stalker's move, moving out. This nice one definitely in trouble. All the units coming out. But the Stalker's get great position. Force field going down. Trapping units is getting out. They decide to go to the other side. This is not looking good at all for TLO. But he's got a lot of Hydras on the way. Still more Roaches coming out. And it looks like he will be able to clean this army up. So not as cost efficient as he could be. But he's going to be holding on to this area of the map. As more units do come out of that Nidus TLO. And the units out. Don't, doesn't have any end. Looks like he will be retreating. So I was wrong. There we go. A few more Hydras come out. Their stalk is still fairly high in HP. Those Hydras going to be going down. A lot more roaches being built. But this worm definitely falling right now. We do have an Overseer on the way. Wants to make another Nidus. But there is a Stalker just watching that area. TLO, 46 drones, 260 probes. Again, he's got to make something happen here, guys. Going to this loss tab, TLO has lost more. He has less workers. That is not a good sign. And now these units are going to go take out these two pylons and the cannons. And those cannons look like they will kill one roach, maybe. TLO moving those roaches. And one roach does go down. 
but all those cans and pylons do fall. White uh, though, nowhere near being supply captain 89 out of 142 supply. We don't really have anything going on. Overlord drop is on the way. And he does have overlord speed, so it looks like TLO is gonna go for a doom drop. He's not building any workers, so this is an all-in. And White Dot is on three bases. He has the larger army, it looks like. No, TLO does have the larger army. And the overlord speed actually not done. What? That is a little bit odd. He's almost done ventral sacks. Looking like he wants to do an overlord drop, but those things are slow as molasses right now. I may be giving TLO a little bit too much credit there, but he does deserve all the credit in the world as he's a very good Zerg player. It just doesn't look like this game has worked out for him. That Cannon Rush set him really far behind. And, uh, well, if you just want to watch other games for TLO, he has made this Nidus play work so well. And uh, just looked amazing with it this game, though. Showing that, the Nidus play, not invincible. White Rod does defend against it, and we'll see if... Uh, Whatever TLO's exit strategy is, does work. He is doing a little bit of Moonglade strategy. Unlike Idra, Moonglade is a Zerg player who is known for just going all in. Once he feels like he's too far behind to win the game, he doesn't just quit the game. He just goes, you know what? I lost, but I'm going to go out and style and build a lot of links. The Zerg just decide, okay, it's not a good battle. They do retreat. We do have Overwood Speed now on the way, so I think TLO forgot all about that. When he was getting that ventral sax, he may have thought he had that, like I did, but uh, he didn't, so now he is getting that. So he will be going for the doom drop, as the overlords do move, again, slow as molasses. And if he does a base trade perfectly, TLO still can come back. He is near in supply, 144 to 132. He is ahead in supply, actually, and still has the larger army. So I may be counting TLO out before he actually is. It looks like he is going to be going in for a Doom Drop. He has a larger army, and he will be having a great positional advantage as uh, White Rod units are not all the same speed. And uh, this drop definitely going to go in, deal a lot of damage. This Colossus could get back to base too early and get taken out. The uh, Colossus building, which he is building one, could just get taken out instantly. It's all going to come down to this drop. He is throwing down a Nidus right here. White Rod kind of pulling units to deal with the Nidus as the drop does come in. White Rod, though, does not have blink. Another Nidus is coming out into the main of White Rod. TLO still in this game right now. There's Colossus, as I said, are naked. The Roach is going in, tries to take them out. The Colossus do micro back. The Roach is coming in. Keep in mind, the Nidus just about to pop with more units coming out. Lots of Roaches going to be streamlining in. White Rod has to take out that Nidus. Force Fields going in. Roach is not so great against Force Fields. A few Roaches taking out those Colossus. Looks like one more Colossus will remain as those Roaches take off this one. Will they get it? Actually, it looks like yes, they do. And uh, this one Colossus sitting back dealing so much damage. It doesn't look like TLO has this one Hydro running back into the Nidus. But White Raw defends this without losing much at all. Hunter Supply 2, 126. The Rook Supply 45, 277. Base count is 3-3. Three to three. And uh, TLO... Is he going to be able to come back? He is definitely far behind now. He had the low drummy. Now he has an even side. TLO somehow managing to stay in this game despite being behind on workers for so long. I don't know how this is working. My bad for saying TLO is out. But uh, being going to have to work supply for so long, I didn't think he could make it work. But it looks like he has started to make it work. Just pure roaches, though, not going to be good against what White Rod has. Immortal, Sentries, and Colossus. I don't see this force fight going well, but no force field do go down. That Colossus does fall, and now TLO is going to be retreating. Get very happy with that Colossus kill. He is probably building Hydras up in the back. Yes, six in production. Has four at base, so that will make ten Hydras. But again, still not building workers. 48 drones, 287 probes. White Raw will be pulling further and further ahead as we pull up this Econ Station. You can see White Raw ahead in minerals by about 400. Ahead in gas by about 300. I believe that is per minute, guys. And wait, do we have another nice? Yes, we do, but that is taken out by Zealots that whoop in. And uh, TLO throws the GG, realizing, yeah, that's not going to be too good. 
knows he can't take out the force. 126 supply to 170. Again, Wook account 48, 287. Was really banking on this one notice, but White Raw got there in time, took it out. There goes the GG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that game as much as I did. Take care, guys, and I'll see you next time.